Royals is obviously the one that got her all the fame. It's genuinely a really good song, and so I feel like lots of us in New Zealand, before it blew up in the world, <laughs> we were all listening to it. We've got a radio station over there called George, which is a bit, well, it used to be, it used to be, a bit more like ulti <laughs> back then. So we were all listening to it before it became a huge hit, and so it was like a real, like, kind of, it's a purist track, Royals, there. I think that would obviously have to be the goat one there. One of my personal favourites is Greenlight, because it's like, it's that next uh, Robin song we're all looking for. Dancing on my own, you know, it's got that same kind of vibe to it, which is, um, I was, yeah, I was kind of hoping for it to blow up a bit more, uh, because I just, I do genuinely think Greenlight's a like, really sick song. My favourite though is actually the Chromio remix <laughs> of Greenlight. <laughs> He's got that little voice, um, what are they called, voice modulator boxes in it. If you haven't listened to the, <laughs> the Chromio remix, I'd definitely recommend giving it a go. <laughs> oh. My god, you just named like the greatest tracks of all time. Funky <laughs> um, up your bumper, baby. I think that is probably my personal pick for the greatest of all time New Zealand export is the funky up your bumper jingle. It's for like personalized plates, the one jingle that's just it hasn't died and everyone jokes about it. Maybe they should replace that with our national anthem. You know, I mean, they should replace the national anthem with the funky up your bumper jingle because it's it's bloody ridiculous. <laughs> funky up your bumper, baby. You got a funky up your bumper. Funky up your bumper, baby. It's like the most hardcore jingle you could possibly have. <laughs> um, yeah. I've, I've, I've dreamed one day to get a job running jingles um, and make something as great as the funky of your bumper jingle. <laughs> I think, I actually, I genuinely think Rachel. Uh, she is the, in terms of um, being a friend, uh, the character of Rachel. She's probably not the best one because she's very exclusive. She's very like, um, she's very like inner circle kind of person. Um, she doesn't include a lot of other people. But in terms of her career as um, Jennifer Anderson, she's genuinely the best actress. <laughs> and she's gone the furthest and she's the hottest person I've seen for like her age. So, I mean, yeah, Rachel, <laughs> I'm gonna go with her. It's a real big toss up for me between Ray and Kylo Ren. Ray, when Force Awakens came out, she an amazing female kind of lead that anyone can get behind because you're just like, yeah, awesome. She's kind of kicking ass and there's no like romantic storyline to her or anything. She's just a kick ass kind of character. But then you got Kylo Ren and he's just like, he's got some inner turmoil going on. And then you got the Porgs and they're fucking cute. Finn's great. Finn's just hot but he's also just genuinely funny. And they're all my favorite things about the new Star Wars. I'm gonna have to go Porgs, it's too hard for me. <laughs> I'll get the basic bitch easy out there. <laughs> I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so when I saw these little ridiculous Porgs, it's everything I love. I'd get all the Porg merch possible if I could. Okay, so I've met all these boys, <laughs> personally. <laughs> no offense to Jordan and Zach, but they're never gonna top art. He was the first. He was the greatest. <laughs> He's just got the most going on for himself. He's engaged with the with the person. He stayed with the person after the show. Like he's genuinely for for the, what the Bachelor is. He is the, <laughs> the greatest of all time. I hope there's a picture of him shirtless um, next to me on the screen screen right now because it is a treat for everyone watching. Oh God. <laughs>